Support for Kalamazoo Lively Arts is provided by the Irving S. Gilmore Foundation, helping to build and enrich the cultural life of greater Kalamazoo. All right, Eric, take me into your art world of painting with light. Did I get it right? Yeah, that sounds good. <laughs> um, yeah, you're right. Uh, photography is uh, painting with light. This process may be more so than others um, because the actual image um, that's made on these wet plate collodion tintypes is what most people are commonly um, familiar with is a chemical reaction which produces silver particles that have reacted with actual physical light. I'm going to take you right back into, into like layman's terms. What is your art? What do you do, Eric? I'm a photographer by trade, but I've also specialized in the field of wet plate collodion. Um, wet plate collodion is a photographic process that was invented in 1851 and was pretty predominant until the end of the 1880s. All right, Eric, take me into your process. All right. Well, here's first what we're going to do is we're going to start with a blank substrate. Okay, all right. These are some pieces hmm. of black and aluminum that I get from a trophy supply place in Chicago. Huh. Because basically we're making film. Correct. Is that correct? Yeah. Yeah, okay. we're making film and this is a chemical reaction. Now what are you opening? This is the liquid film stock that I mix um, by hand. Um, the recipes Ooh. I'm using original recipes from the 1800s for this guy here. Wow. Easy does it, right? Yeah. I smell it. it smells good. Yeah. <laughs> I can send you home with a bottle <laughs> okay. of ether if you Ooh, want. I think that's illegal. Wow. So basically what you're smelling are the solvents nice. which keep this in liquid form. As soon as I pour that off, those solvents start evaporating and that gelatin layer starts to set up. Now I want to get this into my silver bath. Which is where you're going to take us next, yeah, right? Yeah, right okay. here. So I mentioned that wow. wherever you shoot, I need to bring a dark room with me. Okay, I'm wandering over here and peeking in. And this bath is silver. This is your dark room? Yeah. All right. Let me get here real quick okay, and set right, the timer. Okay, okay, the timer. Here, okay, Let's so we got this timer. three minutes on that. What's happening? So what I did is after I poured the film, let the solvents evaporate, I've got a thin gelatin that has some chemicals mm -hmm, in it. Mm -hmm. That plate then goes into this tank, which has silver crystals that oh. have been dissolved in distilled water. While it's in this tank, for three minutes, that silver particles mm -hmm. are going to react with those chemistry in that film. As we speak, they're reacting. As we speak, oh, that's what's going on yeah, right now, yeah, science. Yeah. Okay. And after three minutes, those particles are going to become light sensitive. And that means that that plate that we just poured is going to be one singular piece of film. Huh. So after the timer goes off, um, that plate is going to get pulled out and it's going to go into my film holder here. Okay. So the film holder's got these slides in it which kind of slide into the, the bottom lip here so it traps all the light mm -hmm. from, from getting in. Your end product, are we looking at landscapes, people, objects? I love all of it. I love landscape photography, I love wedding photography, I love boring simple tabletop product photography. You know, my, for me, I just want to make good images. Um, but portraits have kind of really turned into a a passion for me because it's it's working one-on-one -on -one with a person and then there's the challenge of in order to take a good portrait of somebody you kind of gotta let them drop their guard a little bit you know otherwise when people come right into the studio you know they you sit down and you get a photo and it's just like a really stiff like you didn't really you know get that person so in that short time frame that I've got to work with somebody you know find that crack get in there and then get an image that they're going to be happy with. Okay, Eric, you have the dummy in the seat. What's going to happen? So in the previous step, we made our film. Okay. Um, it's been sensitized. Now it's mm -hmm. ready to go. So we got you set up okay. in this chair here. Mm -hmm. And what I'm going to start Ooh. to do is compose you in this photograph here. Oh. What year is this camera? Uh, to be honest. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think it's a 2000. I don't have an actual date on it, but I'm guessing somewhere probably 1920s. What are you doing right now? So right now I'm just composing the photograph the way I want. Because this is a one take wonder? This is a one take wonder, oh. and I think you can do this on the first try. I think okay. we can do this yeah, together, yeah, Shelley. I'm ready. I'm ready. I've been training. All right. So I'm going to have you turn three quarter angle. 
towards that way. Body, right? Yep. Hello, Mom. And then I want, yep, yeah, just like oh, that. I want you to like turn this? back to the camera. Okay. So now, mm. I need you to not move at all. Oh, this is going to be tough. Head to the side. The other side. Right, yep, right there. Okay. Hold that and, and reserve your questions mm. for just a second. Hang on. And relax your smile. I don't want any, I want like a mouth, just a slight grin. Just a, yeah, just like that. A very, yes, beautiful. Mm. Okay. Mm. Don't move. Mm. Stay nice mm. and still. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Okay. All right. Cap is on. Slide comes out. Now that film is exposed, but that cap is blocking it. Hmm. So I'm going to take the cap off. Another count of three. One, three. Boom. Oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah. That was so fun. What is it? Ew. That's the best reaction it's I've got out of that. <laughs> How unique is this art? Are others doing this? I would say that it's a very rare form of photography being practiced. There are a small number of people doing it. They sort of work together, sort of keep to themselves, but in my immediate area, I don't bump into a lot of people. Here we go. We're on time-sensitive zone here. Take me away, Eric. Okay. What's happening? Well, we just finished developing your photo, and I'm giving it a quick rinse here, but we're going to come on over to this okay. light here. Nice. And I'll show you what I'm, I'm looking at. So, <gasps> so this is basically your positive. Okay. And when I'm developing, I'm checking there's a little eye there. There's a couple eyes. A couple of eyes. Little nose. Ooh. A little bit of a mouth. Okay. You got a little bit of a mouth on you, Shelly. Yeah, yeah. Well, I've heard that. <laughs> and then um, I'm looking here in your clothing, especially the black, that I can wow. see the gradient and the shadow details there, which means I think we made a pretty good exposure. Good. So, so you're going down into the water. Yep. We're just going to give it a quick, clean rinse here. We're trying to keep it nice and wet. And then oh. this chemical right here oh. is just standard um, film fixer. Okay. And so that's... So this is all prepared. Yeah. You take ready? It, take it down. You ready? Here we go. Watch <laughs> this. <laughs> Something's happening. Yeah. Oh my goodness. So this chemical here is dissolving all of the collodion, that or all of the image that magic. did not react with the light. Actually, that turned out pretty well. That yeah, does that, look kind of crazy good. That is awesome. That's sweet. Now, even though you've got a modern look to you, yes. the photo has a it completely has a, vintage feel, mm -hmm, right? Mm -hmm. It's that sepia feel. That warm feel. I mean, just the whole thing. We're used to the only understanding of antique photographs we have is by looking at antique wow. photographs. And this looks every bit like an antique photograph. How long should this stay in here? Well, this is going to sit in here just a few seconds longer. This is just a fixer. I want to make sure that it removes all of the silver oh, that, that didn't work. that didn't react. And so all the black that you see, all the solid black, all the small lines of black, yes, yes. that's the actual original plate. And th there's just a real thin, clear window that allows that to shine through. But everything that you do see, huh. your hair, your skin tones, all those are little tiny pieces of real silver that are kind of packed together in different densities. And so that's done there. We're going to give this another a quick rinse, rinse. Another rinse. Back in the bathtub there. Mm -hmm. But now after this, there, there's about another hour's worth okay. of washing here. Oh, but this is, this is pretty close to your finished image. 